and uh, welcome everyone to the section of video in which I am explaining about the nitrogenous bases. So, while first uh, studying about the nitrogenous bases, it is very important to understand the structure and how the formation is happening because nitrogenous bases is very important part of DNA. So, in this particular video, I have tried to make the make it in a simple way and to explain you so that you can memorize it at once. So, here first I have drawn a purine. Purine is the uh, pyrimidine plus imidazole ring. When the pyrimidine will form a bond with imidazole ring, then it will form a purine. Alright, purine is bicyclic and the pyramidine is monocyclic, right? And then another thing is the purine is having nitrogen in first carbon, third carbon, seven carbon and nine carbon. But here there is nitrogen in first and third carbon only, right? While drawing the structure and drawing the number of the carbons, we need to be pretty sure about the thing right because we will be mistaking the whole thing later right so we should be sure of the carbon number most important thing is now first let us put in our mind that the head all right the head of the purine is having a six number of carbon and the head of the pyramidine is having Four carbon, four number carbon. All right. These the head is having sixth carbon and the head here is having fourth carbon. All right. And the numbering which we do in case of purine. All right. In the main uh, ring of the purine. All right. That is in anti-clockwise. That is counterclockwise. And the numbering in the imidazole ring is clockwise, and the numbering in the Pyrimidine ring is also in clockwise. Only one is anticlockwise. That is the main ring of the purine is in anticlockwise. Only the numbering part we are discussing about in this particular part. This particular part. Alright. Now, see this is counterclockwise. I know first you draw the ring. First you do nothing but you just draw the two rings. And then you blindly write 6 in the head part. Alright. Then you draw this arrow. Alright. Then you draw this arrow. This upper upward heading arrow is for counterclockwise. And the downward heading arrow is for clockwise. Alright. So you here blindly draw 6 and you write a, you make a up headed arrow. So the tail, from the tail, your wand will start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? And then here you jump with 7. Now again you make a downward arrow. So that 7, 8 and 9. Right? Now coming to the pyrimidine. In the head you make one ring. ring, And then you, you make a 4 in the head part. Here I am blindly writing 4. I am drawing a ring and I am blindly writing 4 because I know that in the head part there is 4. Now I will draw again this downward arrow because I know this is clockwise again. Now I am drawing a downward arrow. So my tail will be 1 again. Here also my tail was 1 and here also my tail will be 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Right? It will always start from your tail portion will be starting from 1 and then the arrow will be ending to the larger number. Here also the tail was starting from 1 and the arrow was ending to the larger number. Here also the tail will be started from 1 and it will be ending with a larger number. Now, coming to the bases. Now, purine is having two bases that is adenine, adenine and Guanine. This is guanine. It is having adenine and it is having guanine. So now another is pyrimidine. Pyrimidine is having 
साइटोसिन एंड यूरेसिन एंड देन थायमिन ऑल राइट नाउ दिस इज एडिनाइन now you draw the same ring first you draw the purine ring you draw the same ring all right and then you add amino group in the six carbon in the head part you draw the amino group all right in the head there will be amino group now in the next part you draw cytosine for pyrimidine and you draw the same ring and in the head part in the fourth carbon you draw the same amino group all right the exception is here you have oxygen and here you don't have oxygen but you add oxygen in the cytosine both head part is having amino group adenine and cytosine both are having amino group in the head part and you draw the oxygen in the cytosine now you come to the next you draw the same then you you draw the same purine ring and then you draw the oxygen in the head part here also in the you draw the uracil and you draw the oxygen in the head part but again the exception is you draw the amino group in the second carbon but you draw oxygen in the second carbon the exception here is you are drawing amino group in the second carbon and you are drawing oxygen in the second carbon but here the exception was you are making oxygen in the second carbon and you are not writing anything in the second carbon now another part now coming to the thymine and uracil all right this is the structure of uracil if i add ch3 over here this will be thymine because thymine is nothing but it is the 5 methyl uracil the name of thymine itself is 5 methyl uracil when you add ch3 group to the fifth carbon then it will form it is known as the then that compound is known as thymine so now let us name them see this is 6 six, six amino group amino and then this is a purine ring purine now coming to this this is in the second carbon we have oxygen two oxy four carbon we have amino group four amino and then this is a pyrimidine ring so it is pyrimidine right so coming to this part now in the sixth car ox sorry sixth carbon we have oxygen in the second carbon we have amino group so this is six oxy two amino and this is a purine ring right six oxy two amino purine now coming to next all right if this is uracil then we will write two sorry two four deoxy we will be dash two four deoxy pyrimidine we will not write this five methyl two four deoxy pyrimidine and here if it is thymine then we will write two four dioxy five methyl pyrimidine right we we'll write uh okay we we'll write two comma four and then we we'll write dioxy pyrimidine or if it is thymine then we write 2,4 dioxy comma 5 methyl pyrimidine all right so i hope you got the thing and i hope you can memorize it now and this was only for today if you like my video like hit the like share and subscribe to my channel thank you